Critical systems shut down across the globe and here in the bi-state after a cyber outage overnight. You may have noticed it's tough to get cash at the ATM, and if you're getting a medical procedure today, it may have been canceled. Never mind those at the airport where you literally cannot fly right now. All flights at Lambert grounded. George Rosenthal is president of ThrottleNet in Sunset Hills. Describe this crippling outage. What, what's the most serious thing happening right now? So this is a system that is global. There, there's some competitors that they have, but they are the largest. And what they do is they provide endpoint protection to computers, all endpoints, so workstations, laptops, that kind of thing. And all it's doing is looking for cyber threats all day long. So this was not a cyber attack. This had nothing to do with cyber at all. It just so happened that they were doing a software update and somebody made a mistake somewhere along the chain of checking things and a, a core file that goes into the Windows operating system was faulty and automatically blue screened every single Windows machine using the system globally. That is, and, and this is called CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike, the yes. The company that's responsible yes. for this. And their core thing is looking for cyber threats, which is great, but they're, they get right into the core of Windows operating systems and one mistake and shut down every Windows machine using that software. So, so many industries, what's the most critical outage right now? Well, I mean, definitely hospitals in the medical world uh, and of course airlines, they're doing everything by hand now. Uh, the, so there are some uh, airlines that were not using CrowdStrike, so be sure and check your flight before you leave. Uh, Southwest Airlines was not affected, um, but those that were affected are having to do things by hand now. And that, okay. This goes for every industry uh, across the globe. It's not just in, in specific verticals. This is every industry that was using CrowdStrike is down. And we understand the FAA has imposed a ground, uh, you know, everyone's on the ground. Absolutely. So th even if you have an airline that's not affected, the chances of getting a flight are probably pretty slim. If you're, if that airline was using CrowdStrike, it's going to take okay. a long time. Every single computer that was affected using CrowdStrike has to be physically touched in order to repair it. To bring it back yes. online. Is this something you ever imagined happening? Uh, you, you, you have to imagine it in our world, in cyber world, you have to think of all things happening. But to actually see it happen on such a basic level of, of that of just a software update is kind of astonishing. Uh, it's being called the largest tech uh, problem failure? failure in the entire <laughs> world. Yes. Yeah. So just think about people's normal day. Can you go to the grocery store and are, are those checkouts working? Can you get cash? That's the thing. So if, there, if, if any system has a Windows-based machine that's using CrowdStrike, they are down until an IT technician engineer goes to that physical machine and actually puts hands on it. So you're talking about hundreds, or could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of endpoints around the world that all have to be physically touched by someone in order to prepare them. So let's get the old cash register <laughs> yeah, back out. That's right. right. Uh, it's going back wow. to the back to the Stone Age or the, back to the 80s. Wow. So yes. when will things get back to normal? So they're estimating days, not necessarily months, but it, it's going to take days to get everything back in. So you're you're going to have every single organization is going to have to have a business disaster and recovery plan. And if they did not have a, a recovery plan in place, it's going to take them a lot longer to get back back in up and running. If they did, there's a lot of organizations that will recover today, maybe tomorrow, uh, but this will be an ongoing thing for millions and millions of computers around the world. And it, it can take days, if not weeks, to repair this. Wow. And so the cost of the economy has got to be staggering. I can't even imagine. You, I can't imagine putting a number to this when it affects so many airlines, uh, every industry that was using CrowdStrike. Um, is, is affected by this financially and everything gets put on hold until each endpoint is touched by a technician. So it, it's definitely not something where you can remote in and fix it remotely because as soon as the computer boots up, it immediately goes to the blue screen of death as we're all used to yes, in the Windows circle world. Of death, yes, that's what we call it here. So what should our viewers do? What do they need to know? One thing you got to be just plan ahead. If you're on a, going on a trip, make sure you call the airline, make sure you check with the airport to make sure they're up and running before you go and stand there for hours uh, or have a canceled flight. Uh, if you're going to the hospital and you have a, a pre a scheduled appointment with a doctor. Call ahead. Make sure they're still doing that. I imagine elective surgeries are probably going to be put on hold for a little while until all the all of the systems are back. Um, otherwise, you know, go to your daily thing. Do do what you normally do, but definitely double check with airlines with medical before you go because you could be sitting and waiting for quite a while. All right. Yeah. Great advice, George Absolutely. Rosenthal from ThrottleNet. Thank yep. you so much for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely.